So we're here at the Bessie Rao Community Center and we were visiting the lunch programs for a special takeout version of School Days Lunch Raising Gourmets, but we got so much footage of activities going on in this community center that we're going to give you some special bonus features this time. So we're here at the Betsy Rao Community Center where some kids are having a whole lot of fun and in a little bit we're going to actually feed them some food. But first we're going to take a tour with... Crystal Alpers. Crystal Alpers, who's going to show us around the space today. Thank you, Crystal. No problem, thank you. Back in 2010, the school shut down as um, it used to be a school here. Um, and at that point, the city takes the school over um, by law, okay. um, or the building over, so to speak, by law. Um, and so at that point, I reached out to the uh, city manager and asked her thoughts on whether she thought perhaps moving the recreation department up here would be a good idea. At that so point, you were running the rec department? Correct, yes. I am the parks and rec director okay, good. for the um, city of Franklin. Um, and so she thought I was kind of crazy at the time um, because obviously this is a huge space and could we really utilize it for uh, parks and rec fully. Um, so we did a lot of brainstorming and decided to come up with a model um, to kind of share within the community. Um, so we have here the rec department, we also have a child care center, a Head Start program, um, and the senior center. So Great. we were able to repurpose the building to house four different organizations um, that were all kind of looking um, for a new location. Um, we were able to get a bunch of CBDG grant funding um, okay. to do the renovations in each of the sections. Um, we're except for my, look at my right? part. Yep. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that's kind of where. Sorry, that's okay, kind of where. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of where we are today. Um, so we have all of these different organizations and we partner on some things, but we're also separate. Um, we Each organization has their own director, their own funding, and that kind of kind of thing. manage their part of the space, but then you manage the overall space to make exactly. sure it's all working. Yep, and awesome. we all participate good. in the capital um, reserve so that if we have to make any improvements in the future. We'll you have the ability to do that. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's go see it. All right. Hi. So there's Parks and Rec. This yep, is the so game this room. is our game room. This is um, one of our first rooms here. Oh, an air conditioning too. Yes. Got capital improvement. Yes. So this is kid, Franklin kids coming to hang out, right? Is there a, not a structured program per se, but just this part of the rec program? Correct. Right. We're open from 30 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday. Okay. Do you camp days on? All the way to the coast? No, right here at Western Lake. Oh, Western Lake. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And so you run those programs out. So kids are just dropped off and go run, and, you know, the families want to participate in these programs. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Sounds like a great program. You guys having fun today? Yeah, what are you doing? Playing some pool. Some pool. Who's winning? Is he good or is he good? There's the pool shark right there. There you go. Um, our average daily attendance is about 120 to 140. Wow. We have our kids. Yes, it is a lot of kids, but it's fun. Um, we have about 180 enrolled, um, okay. but depending on the yeah. day kind of who shows up. Yep. So, how did you connect to Community Action to help support the food program? Um, to be honest with you, that was in place prior was, okay. to my arrival. We've been doing that. I've been here for 10 years, um, and they've been supporting us ever since. Ever since. So I just every year refill out the paperwork that I'm so asked to do. Come on down. I have hungry kids. Again. You yes. bring food. We'll eat it. Exactly. Right? I have, sounds good. I have lots of kids that I can feed for sure. Right. That sounds great. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Extension okay, um, so in the 4-H brings... program. So um, each Monday we have them come in and they do a little session. About um, it, yeah, it varies. It's sometimes it's gardening, sometimes it's animals. It, it can be various. Yes, you are. are you? Did you. you see those chickens? Yeah. Pretty cool. I think huh? she did. So this right here is our arts and crafts room. Um, 
there, like I said, they were just finishing up with the chickens. Um, it's obviously a multi-use room. We had yes. chickens, we have arts and crafts Chicken, in here. Chicken, arts, right. A little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, it's with a designate, designated space that we can do arts and crafts and science and all that good stuff. Go on. Can we stick our head in? Yes, please. All right. Yeah. So wait, what were the names of the chickens, you guys? I just saw chickens in the hallway. Do we remember any of the chickens? Oh, I didn't get what was the rooster's name? Oh, you didn't see him? I was at that. Chicken, Bok Bok! Bok Bok! You don't remember any of their names? I didn't get to see them. They only told us Thistle, which I believe. Thistle, great. And now you guys going to do some artwork? Yep. With stick paints? So talk to me a little bit about this kind of partnership that's formed, because Community Action, I had the opportunity earlier today, uh, prepare food and lunches for a whole bunch of kids. Yes. But you yes. also feed adults, yes. don't you? Yes. In yeah. this facility? Yes, in this facility. It's a remarkable facility because it is a very strong collaboration within the Franklin community. We um, have our elder services program, which um, provides meals for the elders, and then there's a child care facility here, as well as Head Start, and the Parks and Recreation Department, and we all work together to, to benefit the residents of the greater but Franklin community area. Community actions, you guys are pretty much about providing food? Is yeah, well, we, we do a lot with food, absolutely. Yes, we do, I saw food that. Food insecurities, and okay. really making sure that the food is out there in the community for the people of need, yep. and um, really advocating for other um, agencies to support that mission. Now, do you get a lot of community partners, like you know, grocery stores or something like that, kind of contributing for food? We it, it, it throughout our um, service area, which is um, Belknap and Merrimack. All the way from yep. to Belknap and Merrimack counties. Um, mm -hmm. We always partner with anybody that we always are reaching out to people to help. You'll with the take food. donations oh, from yes, anyone. Yes, is that I, what you're saying? Yeah, Probably you would as well, right? Absolutely. Donations are no. always welcome, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. And it and it depends on who's in the community and and what where the need is, what really. the need is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And how long have you guys been involved here? Oh, a long time here. I'm looking for my staff. Oh, 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 oh. Long time. Long we'll time. Get long time. Because I've only been here a year and a half, so okay. I know they've been here at least 20 years. Yeah, so <laughs> very good. So as you just graduated before, yeah, it's before, it's been before you've 10. been here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's wonderful. It's great to see such a great community yeah. partnership yeah. working well together. Well, that's what makes it successful. Excellent. Thank you. Correct. So we get to use this for Parks and Rec. Um, we do different fitness things, let the kids kind of free play on the mats um, type thing. We also offer a Zumba class. We have a karate um, program here. We have a so are camp. you bringing out kind of a third party to kind of run that? The, yes, those three items is a third party coming in. They just rent the space essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we utilize it and then Head Start and the seniors and um, Tiny Twisters all have a certain amount of time each day in this room okay. as well. Tiny um, Twisters? Tiny Twisters. New term for me, what's sorry, that? Yep, that's the child care center. Okay, got it. Um, all right. So everybody utilizes it at some point during at the day. At some point during the day. Yes. Oh, because the school. You guys, you guys come can in. come in, come that's okay. In. Were you guys These swimming? are my swim lessons. How was the beach? Out. Yes. They, uh, we do two two week sessions um, throughout the summer, and I have a WSI instructor, water safety instructor, um, and they provide uh, swim lessons for us. Yeah. So do the school on buses, or I see the students, so they basically lease. Yeah. 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 With the school? No, with the first student. With the first, okay. Yep. So they provide all of our transportation throughout the summer. So at the end of the day, how many water bottles do you have to pick up? Um, anywhere between them? one and like 50. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then they end up on my lost and found table. There you go. So. Sounds good. Um, but we just recently put it in a new playground here. Okay. Um, I had a lot of partners there. Um, the Nature Charitable Foundation, the Children's Auction. Um, the city had some funding, so it was a collaboration, cool collaboration as well, yes. right? Um, so I was very I bet excited the kids to love it, huh? replace that. It was very old and outdated, so they are that pretty psyched like great, about that. Great, great thing. Yes, so. and then we have the field space, which is great. The middle school uses it in the fall for their uh, baseball and, um, or excuse me, baseball in the spring, and then um, football. It, it's their practice field, and then I utilize it for soccer and um, my other recreational All your type programs in the rest of the year. Correct. This is, so is this from the school? The uh, oh, robotics kids? All the rec, the rec, all yeah. the rec. So we're able to buy kids. We're able to buy like tables yeah. and new games. So and and two my buildings and grounds guys it? built me the table. Yeah, and then you just have to buy a new uh, yeah. kit, basically. How? How? Huh? Okay, here it comes again. Gonna bake it this time. Hopefully, turn. 
Oh, yeah. A little too, yeah, yeah, yeah. too far off. I could even far, see it was too far off. Too yeah. far from the, that thing. Gotta keep it really close to the wall, like right on the edge. Yeah. It's gonna do it this time, though, I think. What do you guys think? Have you done it yet? Yeah, they did it three times in a row. Three times. <laughs> now they went on to a different challenge, so remembering where it was. Closer. 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 And then move it closer to the wall. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you? Wonderful. Wonderful. Nice and cool nice in and here. Nice and cool in here, yes. How'd you guys work that out, huh? <laughs> it's the coolest room in the place. Is it? It is, actually. We're cool We're, people, so. That's yeah. what it is. You're really cool, and so hence the cool thing. Wow, this is a beautiful setup. Are you guys going to be serving in here? Is that what we're getting ready for? Nope. They, they just finished. Uh, no. Oh, they finished. Okay, I saw all those other settings that I wasn't yeah. sure what we're doing, yeah. so. Yeah, they just finished. And bingo, too. Oh, yeah. Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays? Yep. Very good. Yep. That sounds good. That's the drawing time. <laughs> That's the drawing time? The drawing card. Oh, to bring people in? Is it? Yeah, okay. You need a drawing card sometimes. Yes, yeah. we do. Great. Sometimes we don't work. So how's the food? Are you guys, is Community Action doing a pretty good job on that food? Yes. No problem. No complaints. Oh. Nancy, how are you? Thank you. Thanks for letting us visit. Oh, sure, anytime. So Don't. you just finished feeding everybody. Yes. Yeah. Most everybody's left. Oh, except for the important. Right. So they utilize the fitness room with the different exercise programs, um, and then okay. they have often do like a craft group or card uh, playing cards kind of group. Or bingo. Or, or bingo. Or, yeah. Whatever the exercise might be. Oh, you want me to say? Transportation. Oh, yes, we have transportation that starts at 7 in the morning. To get folks here? Yes. Okay. Here and to doctor's appointments, to hair appointments. They shop. They pretty much go anywhere they want. We have it in the um, Franklin Tilton and Northfield area. And then we have an outreach now we do on Fridays. And we go out to Hill and out into Danbury. And um, and over. Okay. So we provide for that rural. So it's a big geography. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we go like 150 miles a day. It's a lot. And so how do people connect with you? They just call. We have our number um, on our. We put brochures out. We have like a thousand brochures. We distribute to all the different towns. Okay. And then we have that phone number, and then it's everywhere that you can imagine. It's on the internet. It's. We send out these brochures to doctors' offices, the hospitals. It's really email. grassroots. It's yeah. really grassroots marketing and getting our name out there. Right. Yeah. yeah, and the, the the participants really do a lot and of. If we, oh. did, if we um, didn't have this place, there'd be a lot of depressed people. Just yeah. hanging out by themselves, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. depressed people. This trip brings us life back after the loss of someone. Generational. We yes. have intergenerational programs. We were, we've cut back a bit over the winter. We were doing a program with the Tiny Twisters where they were coming in and bringing all the babies in and we go out and play with them for an hour or so out here in the um, reception area. Almost like toys, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who can refuse a baby, and right? And Yvonne, yeah. she always grabbed the littlest ones and rocked them. The Is nine that right? Months, the nine yeah. months old, yeah. Keep them all nice and cuddly. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we do intergenerational things with the Saint Bonnie School. Okay. They did, they planted the majority right. of this garden out yes. here. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. They do it every year. They provide all the kids come and plant. They weed. They buy all the um, all the goodies to put in the garden, all the flowers, the vegetables. And they gave us a nice bench this year. They bought that bench out there for us. And then the Tilton School, Tilton um, Prep School, yeah. they come in and they've come in and done. Um, planting with us, done different things. We periodically, but Crystal will bring the um, children down to the, they use the bingo, they come in and do bingo or whatever. Who's hungry? Wait, did I say it was time yet? <laughs> Is anybody hungry?